When I first launched my channel, I thought it would be straightforward. Upload good content, get subscribers, and watch the success roll in. But 8,500 subscribers later, 120 videos within the space of 11 months, I've come to realize that the journey is nothing but easy. Today, I want to talk about what this growth has taught me, not just about YouTube, but about personal growth, about resilience, and about the struggles nobody talks about. Hi, my friend. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Wendy Zill, and on here, I talk about relationship, personal growth, and all things in between. With that being said, the first challenge I faced trying to grow was finding my voice. It's so easy for you to get lost in the crowd trying to be someone else or trying to copy some other people but it is very easy to stand out when you're able to identify your unfair advantage and just live in your own authenticity and let it just flow out most of the people i see on youtube are you know people who talk very fast paced and all of that so i was thinking if i do i talk is it not too slow would people want to listen to me you know Thinking about all of that kind of just weighed me down and I had to look for a solution. So what I concluded was whenever I come to my camera and I'm speaking, I'm going to pretend like I'm talking to my best friend. And when I'm talking to my best friend, I am relaxed. I don't have the need to prove anything to try and be anybody. You know, I'm talking to my friend. Come on. So I can be myself because I'm a kind of person that when I'm speaking, I like to from time to time switch to pidgin English, maybe for lack of words or maybe just for clarity. Sake. I don't even know why that happens a lot. But, you know, I just felt this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to be myself, speak the way I would ordinarily speak to my friend like when I'm in my element, in my cool environment, I don't need to prove anything. That was exactly what I began to do. And guess what? About four uploads later, I began to get comments like this, like this. People telling me that the little, little injections of slangs into the discussion makes it even more interesting. And I was like, what? <laughs> For me to get comments like that, it shows that there is at least someone out there who enjoys my content. And to me, that was success. Sometimes you can't help it but think that, okay, if I talk like this, would someone in India understand me? Would someone in Jamaica understand me? Would someone in America understand me? You know, but I've come to realize that success it's not about making it all at once, but it's about taking it one step at a time. If I'm able to influence just one person, one person may be in my community, now I'll be able to move further to my society and maybe to the bigger society out there. That was how I was able to find my voice. Now I speak in my own authenticity. I don't have to prove anything to anybody. I can actually record a video throughout in Pigeon if I want to. And I can switch anyhow I want. You see, this goes to show that when you're being your authentic self, it's easier for you to attract your own audience because I believe everyone has got his own tribe. I mean, if you're watching me right now, you don't have to like me. Everybody doesn't have to like me. Everybody doesn't have to subscribe to my channel. I mean, if they all do, I might not be able to serve all of them. But there are people, there are a certain group of people out there who would vibe with me, who would resonate with the way I talk and the way I present my point. And the thing is that everything I say is nothing new. These are things that have been said before by so many other people. Bringing in my own vibe and my own personality into it makes all of the difference. So that was how I was able to find my voice. Now, if you're trying to find your voice, it doesn't mean that you have to speak the way I speak. Just look for that thing that is... An unfair advantage for you what is that thing think about it everyone has an unfair advantage for some people it's money for some people it's even poverty for some people it's, it can be like the strangest of things can be your unfair advantage tap into that that is where the success is number two the pressure of consistency everybody talks about it but nobody really tells you and prepares you for the toll it takes on your mental health showing up week after week even when you're not motivated even when you're tired even when you feel like your content is not even good enough 
that is tough. What I did not expect was how much discipline I actually needed to grow, not just on YouTube, but as a person. I had to push through self-doubt and the voice in my head saying, what if nobody likes your content? What if nobody likes your face? What if they don't even resonate with anything you're saying? In doing this, that was when I realized that, come, YouTube was actually teaching me how to be resilient. Number three, dealing with self-doubt and criticism. This is something that no one talks about enough. Like no one prepares you for <laughs> the self-doubt you're going to feel. Whether it's true lack of views or negative comments or, you know, sometimes I upload videos and somebody will just come under my video and say something like, this is nonsense. You're teaching people nonsense. <laughs> or sometimes you get comments like, if you know you don't have anything to say, just shut up. You know, <laughs> oh my God, no one prepares you for that. <laughs> Is it the silence of low views? Sometimes you work on a project for days and when you eventually publish it, it's like nobody is interested. <laughs> you keep looking at it and nobody is actually watching. And it will make you question yourself because you'll be like, am I even good at what I'm doing? Do I even know what I'm saying? What am I even saying? Nobody is watching. It's going to make you doubt yourself. There are times when a video I had spent days on barely get any traction. And I asked myself, is this even worth it? Like, should I even just stop wasting my time and maybe just go and look for a 9 to 5 job and start going? You know? What am I even doing? But every failure, every rejection, every setback has taught me how to handle rejection and keep going. I had to separate my self-worth from the numbers. And that is a difficult thing on YouTube because almost everything is measured by numbers. Your click-through rate, the number of views, audience retention, number of subscribers, you know, we can go on and on and on. Everything is about numbers, watch time hours, everything is calculated in numerics. And it's very difficult for you to even separate your self-worth from that. Because now I realize that if I'm not getting views or subscribers or the validation that I need, let me just call it that. Because at the end of the day, when we look at the views, the traction, it's just because this is me crying out and saying, I want you to validate me. I want you to like it, to show me that I am important or maybe what I'm doing is making sense. This is just me crying for validation. So my ability to separate my self-worth from the validation I get from people has really helped me to grow as a person. There is absolutely nothing wrong with craving for subscribers, for views, and you know, all of the traction, because that is what is going to guarantee your long-term success on the platform. But then when you're just beginning and you're starting out, if you focus all of your attention on that and you're not getting the required traction, it will weigh you down and kill your motivation to keep going. Number four, mental and emotional strain. One of the hardest parts of this journey is balancing my mental health. No one tells you how exhausting content creation can be. <laughs> it's not just about making videos, it's the constant grind of the ideation, scripting, recording, editing, engaging with your community, and a whole lot. It is very time consuming and sometimes can be very overwhelming. Oftentimes, the pressure to perform, to get the next big hit, it's just too much. It's too much. <laughs> there were days I felt like giving up, but those were the days that taught me perseverance. Because like they say, you might just be one video away from your success. Right there where you are, feeling very dejected and discouraged and feeling like you just want to throw in the towel, it might just be that the next move you make, the next video you upload, will just be the break that you've been waiting for. The real reward comes from the growth you experience as a person. The discipline, the confidence, and the ability to push through challenges. Yes, 8,500 subscribers and 120 videos are amazing achievement. But what I have gained inside is what I am truly proud of. So if you're on this YouTube journey or any other personal growth path, remember that the struggles are part of the success. It is not easy definitely not but it is worth it if you're feeling stuck right now just know that you are not alone and if you're faced similar challenges share them in the comments i'd love to hear your stories thank you so much for watching and i'll see you on the next one bye for now